Since the earliest of times, basic geometric forms have been used in art, architecture, and mathematics. Originally drawn by eye, and later by the use of string, it was only a matter of time that simple tools would be developed to improve accuracy. The most basic are the straight edge, compass, and dividers. This series outlines the design and manufacture of a basic 6-inch compass that can be used in the shop. The pencil lead can be exchanged for a second point, converting them to dividers, perfect for transferring distances. The design started with a sketch in Fusion 360. The idea was to make a nice tapered leg about six inches long. This is the basic design, uh, the custom hardware I'll discuss later. The legs are actually symmetrical, and so they were nested into the two inch material and, uh, and then simulated to verify that I could cut them out of the stock that I had on hand. That stock was then expanded so that multiples could be made, uh, six at a time, hoping to increase the overall production. The 3 16th router bit was chosen so that I could drill the hole and profile the part with one tool. This cutter can take a half inch cut in hardwood, full depth. The manufacturer's website had a basic calculator using the material and the depth of cut uh, to give me an estimate of how fast I could uh, machine the part and it was very helpful. I then set up a work stop on the uh, chop saw and uh, cut the blanks to length. Uh, in all I needed to cut about 120 and so here you can see that uh, I've sped it up so that I can get the work done uh, fairly quick. Fixturing small parts on the CNC router can be troublesome and so for this job, I opted to go with some IPG 591 double-sided tape. This is by far the easiest double-sided tape I've ever used. I uh, simply extend it out, uh, set your part down on it, uh, cut it to length with the razor knife, and uh, rinse and repeat until you have uh, the tape put on all of your parts. Uh, went really fast, super simple. I used a small uh, laminate roller uh, to roll down the tape firmly. Uh, this ensured that it was flat with no air bubbles and also caused the adhesive to stick very, very well. I tried previously just putting it down by hand, just kind of hitting it, uh, but I had a high failure rate. And this method uh, has proven reliable. Remove the backing from the double-sided tape using the razor knife. Just catch the corner, peel it up a little bit, and then it comes off readily. Uh, place it on the fixture. I like to start on one end, kind of hold it, and then line it up and lay it down uh, so it's flat. Um, I'll hit it a couple times and then roll it in, um, and then rinse and repeat. Do that for all six of the uh, parts to be fixtured. The CNC is a multicam. To start, click on connect and then select the job that you'd like to run, press enter, and then press play, and the job will begin. The process starts by drilling two 3 16 inch holes on each end of the uh, blank. This will be for the pivot uh, point on the compass, and you'll notice that there are boards uh, around the outside of the uh, job. Uh, that is to help the dust collector maintain proper flow to suck up the debris. I sped up the process so you could see the machine in operation and get an idea of how it operates, but understand that it is, uh, you know, sped up video. When the parts finish, all that remains is to peel them off the fixture. I'm using a chisel to kind of pry up the wood pieces carefully and then peel off the tape. It comes off really good. Uh, if the glue does stick, I use a little bit of acetone to clean it up. And then the rough parts are ready for the next operation. <laughs> 